started off the show talking about the Warriors and their historic achievement of becoming the first team since the Bill Russell Celtics in 1966 to reach five straight NBA Finals. What an accomplishment. We'll get back to them in the next hour. But first, we want to uh, – J.A. Adande, our good friend and former colleague over at the old network, now a professor – yeah, at Northwestern. At Northwestern, he's uh, and actually, you know, Chris, his alma mater. He he also was the one who started teaching at USC that opened the door for me to teach there. Really? Yeah. Okay. They ta- taught at USC, uh, so he's made a real big impact. Yes. Both in journalism and now teaching journalism. Yep. It's great. And anyway, he put up a poll on Twitter, and we thought it was really interesting and a great idea. It says, "Who is the MVP?" Of the playoffs so far. Here's the results right now. Uh, Steph Curry, 40%. Prison of the moment. Kawhi Leonard, 24%. Prison of the moment. Draymond Green, 19%. And Giannis, 17%. So, I'm going to let you go ahead and give your answer, and then I'm going to give the right answer. You ain't going to give no right answer. (laughs) Where the hell is Kawhi Leonard? You just, I just named Kawhi. You said... Prisoner of the moment. Wait a minute. I thought he you was said second, 24%. 24? How is he 24? And, and, and Steph uh, was 40. Steph Kawhi was, was terrible to start the playoffs. Go look at his numbers. And now he's got some pushovers. He put up some. He, he turned into Steph Padford. Pushovers? Pushover in Portland. <laughs> That's right. What was. What was uh, That's what it what was. was Boston. He's just no, a, not Boston. What was Philly? It just see, An all immature it, Philadelphia all, team. All, all he's doing now is or, putting or, up. Putting up just just packing on numbers against a bad team, packing on numbers, and then people are like, "Oh, Steph Curry's the greatest thing ever! Oh my God, they just won three and five games in a row. Steph Curry without KD, that's what it's all about. Your Stop whiny, it! Your whiny voice is it's really bad. bad. I know <laughs> it's horrible, but I mean, look at what Kawhi has done. He's been a stud for them. They Are won't they? be. They're losing. They're down two to one, about? and they can tie the series tonight. Chris, you are so premature. I hope you're not premature in everything in life, because you're always. <laughs> It's two They're to one. Down two to one. How can you be the MVP of the playoffs? But, but then you look down two one. They're play, about to go out. You're on the you're verge not. of being eliminated. They're not on the verge because they're, they're playing their second game home. The series hasn't until somebody wins a road game. They're going to win. Tie the series you know, at let, two can two. I end that? Stop go ahead. It. Go ahead. Go ahead with your spiel. I'm sorry for Did interrupting. Did you see that shot? You you came in here, Chris, with your chest puffed out, all that. That was the first time in the history of basketball that somebody in the game seven walk off shot. Do you remember that? Oh, it was That's a great a, shot. I know, but now you're acting like it didn't happen. No, I think Kawhi's been Steph terrific. Because Stephens beat some also rants. Portland wasn't even. They didn't even show up for the series. They did. Damian they Lillard, where the hell the were face. you? They, they didn't even show the up. Face. I'm sorry. I know everybody's caught up on the Steph. Uh, Steph uh, Mania and all that. Oh, see, Steph, he's back. Just like Tiger was back until he missed the cut this past weekend. Just wait and see. And I'm going to tell you to stop. Listen to me. Kawhi in these oh, playoffs. Yeah, yeah, your intern just got you would some you stats. Would you stop? Be quiet. <laughs> 32 points a game, 8.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists, 1.3 Wait, steals. Start, no, go ahead. Go ahead back with that. Start all over. 32 okay. points a game. Okay. 8.5 rebounds, okay. 3.5 assists, 1.3 steals on 52% uh, shooting from the field and 39, 39% 39. from three. All right? Okay. Here's Steph. 27 6.3 rebounds, 5.6 assists, 45% shooting, and 39 from three. Kawhi beats him across the board. A, a See, call, I, don't just, I don't just look at box scores. I do. I look at the game. The MVP of the playoffs thus far is Steph Curry. No, it's not. Period. The end. No, it's not. Steph Curry demolished. Steph Curry missed a dunk, an important dunk at the end of a game. Do you remember that? I, I'm when he about, was too busy playing Hall of Glove trials instead about, of making the layup. He's five foot nothing. What are you doing dunking in an important moment of a game like that? That was embarrassing. I'm not about the first round of the playoffs. I don't care. He still missed the Andre dunk. Because Andre Iguodala was the finals MVP, and he didn't even start half of the series in 2015 NBA Finals. 
All right, so it's about what do you do for me now? Step and in the Western Conference Finals, step with let me finish, I'll let you go on with your little spiel <laughs> and your whining and all that. Listen to this. In the Western Conference Finals, not in the first round, not in the second round, without Kevin Durant. You know how many guys would have folded if their best player is lost to injury? You know how many guys would have folded in that situation? Instead, he goes out, averages 36 and a half points, 8.3 rebounds, 7.3 assists, shoots 42 and a half percent from three point range, and 94 percent from the foul line, and they sweep. The Portland Trail Blazers. They not down. They weren't down 2-1. They not about to go home. I'm telling you, the North is going home. They're playing better competition. The, the Portland Trail Blazers aren't supposed They're to be in the Western Conference home. Finals. They look like they were like, we got off the bus in the wrong town. They didn't know where they were, Portland. They, they weren't knew supposed where they to be were. there. They came out there. They got... They, One of the best backcourts in the league. I say the third best backcourt. No, everybody I said it was the best. best. They, they, no, they didn't nobody show said up. they were better than Stephen Clay. They're the third best backcourt in the league behind Harden and Chris Paul they, in Houston. They showed and up. And they got outplayed, period, the end. They showed up thinking it was open gym, and they realized they're in the Western Conference Finals. Chris, Steph Curry did something historic. Steph did. Steph was terrible in rounds one he, and two. He broke a it franchise record. It says of the record. playoffs, not of the Western Conference. If he was terrible, it's how's he averaging 27 points in the playoffs? That's because, terrible? Yeah, it was terrible in the first, 27 the first two rounds. 27 points a game? It, he wasn't, that shows play you well. how high your standards are for him, and rightly so. But he was great. Don't get it twisted. He set a franchise record for most 30-point games consecutively, five straight. You know who's played for that franchise? Did, did Chris, Kevin Durant. Chris, did you Rick see? Rick Barry. Did you see? Tim Hardaway. And, and Chris Mullen. Steph, none of them have done. Wait, Will Chamberlain, for goodness Steph sake. Steph can't even guard anybody. Mic drop. When, when I look went at, to Will Chamberlain, at, that's a mic drop. Sam, don't do that. That's a that. mic drop. Please, Sam. Who you going to mention? Who's in Toronto history? Chris Bosh? You no, going to mention him? I'm talking about the job that Kawhi did on Giannis. they down 2-1. That's right. all I got to say. He did on Giannis to stop that guy who's been unstoppable in the playoffs. Steph Curry can't guard anybody. They hide him on the court because he can't guard anybody. It's the everybody knows it in the NBA. That's why everybody yeah, says that's why how they, come that's Steph why doesn't they, get how come Steph that's doesn't why they get to exploit him so much. How come right? he didn't get to respect that? Because everybody knows he's hiding on the field. He can, on the court. He can't guard anybody. And everybody he's a liability and everybody knows it. Oh yeah, he's a real liability. They just he went is. to five straight finals. That's right. How they hiding that liability, huh? Because huh? they got other guys. Draymond really? Green got to play two positions. Uh, one guy. Draymond's Dray- that Draymond good. Draymond plays his man Dray- and Stephs. Draymond's that good. So yes, he's he, that he, good. He's that good. He said Kevin he was, Durant is not around. He said he was the so best Kevin player. So Kevin Durant's not the one hiding him. Yeah, Who's but he him? has been hiding Clay Thompson him. and he has Draymond been Green are that good. Yes, Draymond. Historically good. Stop it. You know this is over. I said Wilt Chamberlain. That's it. End of argument. Man, End you know what? I cannot wait until they lose in the finals. And then you have to eat your words. I want them to oh, save this, this this cold take because it's going to be I'm an ice ready cold to take. Eat my words. I want you to eat your words on this and because they're be not going to win. Eat yours. I, I'll See, do I'm it. not like you. When I, if I'm wrong, I will admit that I'm wrong. Well, but you're so but wrong I'm so, so rarely often. wrong. No, you're so no, wrong you, so you often. That's the here, problem. You come in here and find some cockamamie <laughs> mamie story to somehow finesse it. Like I wasn't really wrong. Tom Brady only threw for 212 yards. He didn't even have a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Tom give, Brady, he was awful. The they didn't win because of him. Props. They did win they because did not give win. him his props. And I will give the Milwaukee Bucks, who I like. Toronto's winning the championship. I, will give I keep the telling Milwaukee you that. Bucks their props. I will give the Toronto Raptors their props if they beat the Golden State Warriors. But Mr. Rob Parker, I'm saying right here and right now, if the Golden State Warriors win the finals without Kevin Durant, you got some splaining to do. All right, Ricky or Lucy. What you going to do? Uh, well, let's wait you to see what happens. You got to give them their props. If they, if they win if the finals. If they're able to pull it off, unless there's some sort of major injury, then, of course, you know, then we could evaluate that. But if they win this which I don't believe they will. I don't think they'll beat any team coming out of the East. I don't. 
That's fine. You can think all you want. You didn't think Tom Brady could win another Super Bowl. I'll see them. You, you didn't know think what? the Philadelphia 76ers with Joel Embiid, Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, and Ben Simmons could beat the Brooklyn Nets. Rob that shows Parker. you. That shows you who y'all you're, going to bank with. You're you're the one. That's who y'all riding with. Yeah, you know That's what? That's who y'all riding with. A man who picked Oklahoma, Jared he, Allen and Spencer Dinwiddie. He picked Oklahoma City surprises. to go. Never heard of he picked Oklahoma City to go to the Western Conference Finals. He's also the guy who picked the Lakers to win 53 games and go to the uh, uh, NBA, uh, the Western Conference Finals. And where are my Jordans? Because you roached on that bet. <laughs> I beat you on that bet. I told you. I told you way back. And he's still. Oh, Stop it. You they were the four. They, they were, were the four make seed. The playoffs too. They were back on the four seed in Christmas. Let me, let me get what back. Do you want let me to get do? back to Kawhi. You want to praise Kawhi? Look, and, and I'm not. Kawhi is, nothing, is the reason why. This is nothing against Kawhi because he has indeed been great. But you don't give me the oh Giannis only got 12 points. Look, Detroit. Your hapless Detroit Pistons. Your weak Detroit Pistons. Your moribund Detroit Pistons. You're sorry, Detroit Pistons. They held Giannis to 14 points one game. So it can happen when you don't have a jump shot. So I'm just Does saying. Does he need to develop one? What's going to happen he, as time goes he, on? He'll, he'll was, in two he years, was, he'll be a very capable three-point shooter. Because he was trust. exposed a little bit there, don't you think? No, nah, he had a bad. He had 30 and 24 of the games before. They're going to beat Toronto. I'm telling you. Do we have wings on that? We can. Wings. Rob G can even get in there. That's Wings. right. All right, lemon pepper, and don't be trying to have one of your friends pay it off either, what? like you did last time. Was that legitimate or not? No, it wasn't legitimate. It was. He owed me a dinner because I beat him in a wings bet, so he so paid you, for Chris. Yeah, but he paid for yours too. That don't, was your dinner, not mine. Days, he what? paid for my dinner out of the kindness of his heart, and that he loves my takes. I'm still waiting for my shoes, so you should. You, what, what? you know that, nah? It's understood. Let's. You know what, Chris? Why don't you just understood. pay for the ones I just got? I got on today. I know you got some new alligator Jordans. Man, every time I see you, you got a new pair of Jordans. Nah, that's it for the summer. I'm yeah, done. Right. I've heard that seven I'm times. I'm done. I'm not I've heard buying that seven any times more Jordans. In the last month. I'm not buying any more for I'm, the rest of the year. You want to put a wing bet on that? Yep. I, really? That for I won't the rest come in of with, the year? Yep. Now, nah, you got control of that. Oh, see? But I don't think you can do it. All right. Your turn to weigh in. Who has been the MVP of the NBA playoffs so far? You want to overemphasize the first round? Go ahead. I'm about the finals, the conference finals, record-breaking stuff. All right, is it Kawhi? Is it Steph? Or is it somebody else? Your turn to weigh in, 877-99 on Fox. Let's start with Gabe out in Cali. Gabe, how you doing? Hey, pretty good. What's up, Chris? What's happening, man? Hey, man, I, I, I agree with you with Curry having a big playoff since, since Durant went down, but I honestly think the Warriors will win the finals, and Draymond Green will be the finals MVP, not Curry. Yeah, and that look, will, Draymond, and you, I, yeah, Draymond's been and fantastic. Steph Curry, and then Steph Curry will not, he'll have, what, four four championships and not no finals MVP? I mean, whoa. That's Rob Parker's, not not his dream. His dream is that they lose. What are you talking about? I don't, right. I don't, I don't, I don't oh, have no, any. Don't act like you know. I don't you have do. any, Everybody any, knows you do. I don't have any uh, horse in the race. Yes, you do. Hey, Will in Cleveland. You bet on him. How can you not have a horse in the race? You're in the odd couple of Fox Sports Radio, but that's for chicken wings. Go ahead, Will. What you got? Uh, yeah, I think Kawhi Leonard is the MVP of the finals. Well, you mean the playoffs The playoffs far. so far. They're not going to get sorry. to the finals. But. Yeah, for the playoffs. Um, I mean, just, you know, he ain't, he ain't got much around him, you know, and what he's doing has just been incredible. Steph still has Draymond. Um, he had Iggy there for a little bit. Still got Clay Thompson, you know, pretty much his core group. Yeah, so I think he's just working with more, you know, not to diminish what he's doing, but I just think what Kawhi is doing with that group is just amazing. You it's don't incredible. like Fred Van Fleet? Uh, man, that dude hasn't been showing up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Will, thanks. Let's go Appreciate to Kit you. in Oregon. Kit, welcome to the I Couple. Hey, thanks, guys. First of all, uh, great show. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I listen. I'm a barber, and you guys get me home every day, so I appreciate uh, that. Man, Thank that's you, man. awesome. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Oh, but here comes uh, the butt. <laughs> yeah, because here comes the butt, because I think this is one of those days 
where Rob is what I call a purposeful contrary. <laughs> right. There are a lot of those days. What are you Kit? talking about, talk, Kit? Real He's real just talk. being contrary for the sake of being contrary because he said, I was almost on your side, Rob, until you said that my trailblazers were bums. Yes. And what, you, what you're failing to remember is that without Steph Curry, the, the Warriors were down by 15 in three of those four games. And without Curry... Uh, they don't win those games. No, I, I get that, but you would mean that you would be, have uh, three star players not playing and you need that to win? I'm just saying that Portland looked like deers in the headlock. They had, like, they weren't ready for this. I mean, they had a well, nice run up to this, but to blow those games. Beat. No, to, to blow the game that they blew. Steph Curry was Come on, too kid, much. you know. They didn't blow him. He, you're, he you're, took him. You're, you're hurt that they that they had leads. It wasn't like they got buried from the first quarter and could never recover. They were winning these games. And then they got buried by Steph Curry. Thank you, kid. Thank you're you. You're welcome. That's a great. All right, kid, keep that's listening. an outstanding. Call. No, it's not. Kid doesn't know what he's doing. How about <laughs> Jamar in Texas? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Jamar? Hey, what's going on, Rob and Chris? What's Brad, happening? I enjoy, I enjoy listening to y'all's show. I've been, been a fan of y'all for a long time. Thank well, you, thank you. Thank yes. you. Yes. To answer the question, I would say Steph Curry has to be the MVP because of what he's been doing without KD in the lineup. And, um, Rob, you're talking about Kawhi being a great M- being the MVP of the playoffs. They played against Philadelphia, who, whose um, whole MO is they're too young, they're too immature, to be ready for the playoffs and make to make a long run. They were down and they were down to Philadelphia, right? Philadelphia. Which is not uh, 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 something to help your argument. What are you talking about? They They're come young back. and immature. You talking about Portland wasn't Jamar, ready for the moment? Golly, Jamar, don't forget uh, Kawhi. No, I'm made, saying, no, Kawhi. I, no, Chris, I'm Chris. I'm saying. Um, Philadelphia is too immature. So no, no that's why I agree. I'm, I'm talking to Rob saying he said Portland wasn't ready for the moment. You're right. Philadelphia was not ready for the he moment. He had to make an unbelievable. Did you see that shot he made with eight people great on shot. him? Great it's shot. an unbelievable shot that will go down. Kawhi has right been next, great. It's right next to the but, one but that yet is, but you say that Kyrie wasn't clutch. made to win the championship. But you think it wasn't clutch. It wasn't clutch. <laughs> Because it was a tie game. You have a one man definition. No, it for wasn't. Clutch. It was a great you're the only make. man in America. It was a great with that make. Definition clutch, of clutch is when you're down. Can we look up the definition? Yes, look, we Rob looked it G, up. Look up the definition. You got to be down, and that's clutch. Like if I miss the shot, we're losing. If I make that with everything riding on it, that's a clutch shot. Let's go to you, Alex in Vegas. You know I'm right. Hey, what's up, guys? How you go doing? Ahead. Good, man. I just want to tell you guys I love you guys' show. I listen to you guys every day. Thank, Thank you. Wow. I just got to say one thing. Uh, I love your whiny fan voice, man. Oh, <laughs> my God. Thank you. You're the I only one in America you're gonna, that likes that voice. Right. Hey, you're going to get more of that as we go <laughs> yeah, on. Don't, don't <laughs> encourage him, Alex, please. Right. Perfect, man. Yeah, um, I got to say, man, I'm not a big Warriors fan, so uh, I like Giannis. I believe that he's been playing pretty good, pretty well. Um, and uh, I just think that I think that they're going to give him a tough time uh this next round, so. Giannis has been great. So you picking uh, Milwaukee over Golden State? Yeah, I do actually. Yes. I think uh, right. I think Milwaukee, their big men are just are gonna. They gonna got the size for sure. Yeah, for sure. So. All right, let's go to Rico in L.A. Rico, you're on with the Odd Couple. Yo, what's happening, man? I'm a I'm a day one listener, man, and and you guys, I love the show. Every time I hear that Rob Parker, man, I start cracking up on the playback. Man. That's hilarious. <laughs> hold on, like, hold Rob on, Parker. <laughs> Just for you, Rico, right there. <laughs> Thank you, Rico. Hey, we look, appreciate it. So look, I'm listen, Chris. You got the right team, but the wrong player. If you guys have been watching. So look, as an MVP, I consider that the most impactful person. It's got to be Draymond Green. If you look at the plays and the way he impacts the game defensively from an energy standpoint, playmaking, big shots, to me he's been the most impactful player in all of the playoffs. If it wasn't for him, they don't be Houston. You know, they don't – and if it wasn't for Draymond, they wouldn't They wouldn't have swept uh, the Blazers. So I think it's by far Draymond Green. Draymond's been fantastic. He really I, has. I got to be honest. If you had to pick, like, say this were the finals or you had to pick the MVP of the Western Conference finals – It'd be a strong argument that it could be co-MVPs. Because Draymond, Draymond and Steph. You I mean, know what? He lost that weight. He looks like he's, uh, like, he's playing like tremendously. He's five years ago. Yeah. Am I yeah. right? Honestly, this is the best I've ever seen him play. Yeah. Like better than five years ago. He still ago. takes those uh, ugly three-pointers. That, but he's hit some. No, he hit some big ones. Yeah. Last year. 
<laughs> Let's go to Khalil in New Jersey. Khalil, you're on with Chris and Rob. What's going on, fellas? What's happening, What's man? happening? How are you? Chilling, chilling, positive, blessed. All right, so, I mean, you, I listened to what y'all say, and, you know, y'all came with it kind of sort of, but I feel like y'all grabbing low, low fruit. Y'all, y'all level of intellect is way too high for that. The most impactful player in this year's playoffs by far is Kevin Durant. And I'm going to go in Because of he got players. hurt, you mean? Nah, I'm just honestly asking. No, How can you call him the most impactful no, player? No, he, he played the he last was, five games. What he was saying right, before so that. On, on, that's finish. over, though. Let me finish. Let me finish. So he got it. He got in uh, McCullough's head in the podcast. Number one. <laughs> number two. His performance against the Clippers was outstanding. Except what round was that in? Come on, man. All right, you don't. All right, don't, don't, don't worry. Round? Okay. Houston, Houston, he bought out. And he wasn't there for the last so, game and a half. All right, that's okay. But his absence talked Steph and Draymond in to have that whole dynamic that's going on in Go to State right now has been impact. Nobody played better than Kevin Durant when he was healthy, and them his absence has forced their games into another level. KD can draw. Their games were at that level court. before KD got no, there. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. The, before, oh, when they won on. 73? Not, not this year. When they, not no, this no, you're right. Not because, the last three because years. Because they don't have to do as much when KD's there. I'll give you that. No, if they're that but good, they did it that. before. But if they were that but good, KD, they would play that way no, all the time. Because yes, they, they would play would. team basketball. I don't buy that. I don't buy I that. I don't know. what you. you uh, maybe you never played basketball, Rob. But when you when you play basketball, it's a team sport. I don't just shoot it as many times as I want. I'm not saying you got to shoot it. If I got another great player, I'm going to share the rock. So Draymond was in good shape and playing like this, not playing like this. No, because – because when you you see Draymond grabbing the rebound and pushing the ball up court every time, you don't do that with KD. You play slower with KD. You got more ISO with KD. Don't you remember the, the big ball fight was in, over what? Yeah, what because was KD was going off on him. Yeah, because he wanted the ball because he's ridiculous. the best player. No, Draymond is doing exactly now what he did that play. And he looked at KD like, what, you talking to me like I'm Kevin Looney? I do this. I does and, this. And, and KD said, I does this. That's why you got two rings the last two years. And I'm the he, finals what did MVP. Draymond say? I'm the, we don't need you. Yeah, right. Leave. And when they lose in the finals, I want to see I what Draymond I can't wait says. to eat my wings all up in your face, man.